Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so we have the Hierophant and this is Taurus energy. So this is a card of a spiritual lesson. This is um, a traditional relationship, a high level of commitment. Um, there's something here about someone giving you their loyalty or you giving them the, your loyalty. There's something here about solidifying a connection. Um, you know, there's even this energy here of seeing someone as your, um, your counterpart, like someone you could marry. Um, there's that energy here as well. So let's see. Okay, we have the moon, Pisces energy, the seven of wands, fire energy, and we have the world, fixed sign energy. So it does look like there's some sort of lesson, a spiritual lesson that has been learned here with the moon. You may be um, confronting some fears or um, insecurities, wounds that are, are very latent with the moon card here. There's this feeling of things that are kept hidden and um, you know, you may be uncovering those things. Um, with the seven of wands, there is this feeling of something you've been, you know, a bit um, defensive around. You're allowing yourself to go deep. Um, if this isn't you, this could be the person you're dealing with, but someone here is really diving deep into their emotions and there's just this feeling of getting more in touch with one's intuition and spirituality. And we have the world card, which is a card of completion. So this could be coming after some sort of significant ending um, in your life, the ending of a cycle, ending of a relationship, whatever it is, it looks like it's prompting some sort of spiritual awakening. So let's clarify these cards, um, Taurus. Here we have the six of pentacles and this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy so it looks like there's something here about giving to a situation um you know really balancing something out being generous um you know being thoughtful towards something and trying to even out the scales somehow there's a partnership here okay so let's see okay we have the eight of wands fire energy the ace of pentacles earth energy and the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy. So there is definitely forward movement happening here. It looks like there's an opportunity for a new beginning, a solid beginning with the Ace of Pentacles, something that can actually be long-term, something that can be long-lasting. Um, a serious offer is being made and um, we are seeing a lot of communication back and forth um, and it's, a, it, it's also showing some sort of progress in a connection, forward movement. Um, there is definitely an energy of someone here who's um, being viewed in a very positive light, um, being seen as confident and attractive and um, an offer here to be together. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Taurus. Okay, we have two cards here. We have uh, Luck is on your side, New Moon in Sagittarius. And we have Show the World the Real You. Full moon in Aquarius. Okay, so I'm going to plot another one. Okay, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life.
Okay, we have nobility and self-esteem. There is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow men. True nobility lies in being superior to your former self. Okay, it looks like someone is coming back, someone you had an, an ending with of some sort. It looked like that ending triggered some sort of spiritual um, awakening or this, this desire to delve deep spiritually. And you may be a different person now when this situation revisits. Uh, there's something here about having learned a big lesson here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Taurus. Okay, we have surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.